Hello, my name is Thomas Baum, I'm the Principal Director here at Chester County Career Center. And I'm Javonda Dickerson, the CTE Coordinator here at the Career Center. Uh, we're happy to have you all with us today and we hope that you, you enjoy what you see and come along for our virtual tour. Here at Chester County Career Center, we're fortunate enough to offer 13 programs. Um, our students come for the skill and they stay for the experience. Um, they get, they walk away with certifications and licenses um, that are industry recognized. Um, some of our um, most popular programs are our CNA program, our cosmetology program, and our welding program. Students from all three high schools in our county, from Louisville, Great Falls, and Chester are welcome to come to Chester County Career Center. Well, welcome to Chester County Career Center. <laughs> Our computer repairs uh, class here at the Career Center. We've been uh, holding class for about six years now and uh, our purpose is number one to teach the curriculum for students to be able to eventually get certified in PC uh, computer or test out and uh, also we take our skills that we learn here in class and we go into the different schools here at Chester County Career Center and actually repair computer problems uh, that other schools have. This allows our students to get uh, real life, hands-on experience in the IT field. All right now we just got some computers open and they're uh, putting the computers together. Uh, I think right now both of them are working on putting uh, memory in those computers and connecting the power supplies. This is our uh, old sign. We, we in the process of swapping out to the new booths here. Uh, we got new machines, new booths, so they got the latest and the greatest of the technology nowadays. Now, these guys are MIG welding right now. We normally do a uh, one year of stick welding, a half a semester of MIG welding, and a half a semester of TIG welding. So we cover all three processes. These guys leave here, they, most of them will go to York Tech for the dual credit classes, and then when they leave York Tech, they are industry ready. Um, I teach two different programs. I teach business information management, and in that program we teach desktop publishing, digital image editing, and multimedia. And then I teach a second program which is web and digital communications. And in that program we teach web design one, web design two, and game design. Um, my students learn a little bit of everything. Um, the class that I have right now, it, this is multimedia and they're working in PowerPoint um, and also using um, a video program to make a video using photos. Desktop publishing, they learn how to use Publisher, um, Canva, and um, Adobe InDesign. In um, digital image editing, they learn how to use Photoshop. And um, multimedia, they learn all kinds of different softwares. It's a different software every week, pretty much, because um, they learn how to video, they learn how to edit video, they learn how to um, um, they take, they learn how to take pictures with the cameras that we have, and so they learn all kinds of different things. We learn how to use vinyl, how to cut vinyl, how to do decals, t-shirts, um, they learn how to make buttons, they learn how to do your um, average documents that you need in a business, such as um, business cards, letterhead, um, any resumes, anything like that that you would use in your business. And then we also have the web and digital communications and they learn HTML, CSS, and they are also learning some Adobe Dreamweaver. So they are prepared to actually um, create a website from scratch. All of these machines work off something called G-code. And in manufacturing, that's a heavy code that we use a lot on uh, anything that has an X and Y set point. Uh, I use them a lot in CNC. So this is just an easier way to teach CNC. Same with this. This has everything in what's called G-code. 
Um, now, I'm going to start this and it's going to give you a display on how it cuts. Cut now. Is that right there? The sun and the moon. And we bring it through three programs. It has to go through the drawing program. Then it has to go through tooling. And that's where we set up the tools and how much or how hot it's going to burn. Then we bring it over to the table. So there's three sets of software that it has to go to to get the code needed to the print. And you can see we have a wall along the back. Uh, believe it or not, those are our recaps. The kids take the final finished product home. Because we do manufacturing and automation, we have to learn how to do product line changeover. And they're changing the product line over from a cup to a block. So in, it gets a little involved, but they have to, we made an insert to adjust for the block. And then we have to go through and redesign the pusher. And for the claw, we've already redesigned these little bushings that go in that will hold the block in place when it's picked up and brought in. So when we're done with all this, it'll all go into one product line and I'll show you over here. When we're done, it'll get staged up like this. And this one is just set up for cups at the moment. They have to go through and program the PLC and then understand how all this goes together and talks together. We have electro pneumatics on here. We have sensors, solenoids, motors. Anything that would be on a bigger machine is here in a reduced size. Now we do have drones. These are my in-house drones. They fly indoors only. And this is my outside drone, and this flies on the football field only because of the room required to fly it. Um, it is fully functional, and if you want, maybe you can come back and we'll get some aerial footage for you. Um, I teach business and marketing here at the Career Center. Uh, right now, this is a game design class where they're going to actually learn to design video games. I also do marketing, marketing management, advertising, and entrepreneurship here at the Career Center. Um, I feel they're learning skills that they're going to be able to take out to the business world. They're learning real life skills, working together, working as a team, uh, measuring uh, math. Skills, uh, but learning how to problem solve is what they do a lot of here in class and they really seem to enjoy it. Um, they can walk out of here with the skills that would set them up for getting a job, being able to walk in and be able to be that skilled employee that employers need. Um, I've done a couple of sessions in the summers working in businesses to keep up with what you know our local industry needs and I try to bring that and incorporate it into our class time. Hey, I'm uh, Lawrence Naniot here at uh, Chester County Career Center instructor for Fire and EMS. Today we're having a fire class. They're going over um, how to put on their PPE properly for coming off the fire truck for structural firefighting. As you can tell, we do have females in this class. 
Uh, we actually have a female firefighter now at the station that I'm assigned to that came from this class that is now full time at the city of Chester. Some of the gear that they have to be accustomed to wearing. This is uh, PPE, personal protective equipment, helmets, gloves, uh, SCBA cylinders. Um, it adds about right at 100 pounds extra to your body weight. So they have to be in really good condition. We do a lot of PT, a lot of body condition, body uh, conditioning. Um, if you think this is something that you would like to do, come our way. We love to have you. We have a lot of fun in here, but it is hard work. And we also teach EMS one um, class here. Um, we go through the uh, curriculum um, at the uh, for the uh, National Register First Responder. We're trying to get it set up now where coming out of that class you can be a nationally registered first responder with the fire class we do partner up with the south carolina fire academy we are instructors with the academy as well so they do get firefighter one firefighter two auto extrication hazmat ops hazmat awareness and all uh, four NIMS 100, 200, 700, 800 certifications out of this out of this class if they put in the time and effort to do the work. All right, welcome to Chester County Career Center, the Culinary Arts Department. And uh, we're excited to have students here that are taking knowledge to the industry. We both teach it, and then also you get some hands-on education here, and you get to practice. So as you're moving into the culinary career field or hospitality industry, not only do you learn things, but then you get the hands-on knowledge. So this is, happens to be pecan season here in Chester County. So we're, we've got some fresh pecans that we're gonna be using for Thanksgiving, Christmas time, making uh, chocolate pecan pies and things like that. Um, we're excited to use local products, to be able to use local farmers. Chester County has a great agricultural um, culture and we're excited to be able to use those products whenever we can. So students move on here to culinary schools, they might move on to careers in food service in our area, they might just hop on down the highway, just hop, skip and a jump down to Charlotte and use the culinary skills that they've learned here in one of the fine restaurants in either North or South Carolina. So. A smaller class, we're able to get a lot more done in this class. I got uh, my students, we're in starting system, so I got one student right now removing a starter from a Chevrolet pickup truck as part of his task list. And the other two students, while they're waiting on him to get through, I'm teaching them a little bit of metal fabrication, some things that students will need to know to work out here in the industry. You know about where, where you're almost through it at. Hi, I'm Jennifer Lynch. I'm the sports medicine teacher here at the Career Center, and I teach medical terminology and sports medicine. Um, some of the skills that we learn here, so we learn everything from taping to palpations to um, injury prevention, injury treatment, everything, all the modalities that you could possibly think of. Uh, some of the skills that our students can take away with them, so we want to prepare them to go out into the real world to be able to take um, to be able to do anything in um, the fitness world, into the rehabilitation world, into the sports medicine world. So we're really excited about what's coming up with our program because a lot of sports medicine programs really just pre um, prepare their students to go into athletic training, but we want to prepare our students to really go into any field into sports medicine. So whether it be rehabilitation, whether it be working into an orthopedic world or orthopedic setting into a hospital, uh, whether it even go into the fitness. So one of the things that we want to do is we're going to start a clinical here and then on top of that we want to um, offer them a, uh, a personal training certification as well. So we are really excited about being able to do that.
All right, so basically the cosmetology program is designed to prepare the students to take the South Carolina cosmetology license, license test is basically what it is. Okay, and the instructions include mostly science and hair care, nail care, and skin care. And basically that's done by theory and practical applications. And those applications are done on mannequins and actually lab models. These are the junior students right now. They're actually just working on a new demonstration that they were actually taught today, which is pin curls. And I actually have my Zoom students over there working as well. And these are the first year students. So this is the junior class, which is Cosmo 1. B Day Carpentry 2 class. Right now we're working on, we're building a little mock up of a uh, house basically. We got the uh, floor system here with the subfloor and we're standing up walls right now. We're learning about wall framing. So right now we're about to lay out a wall and frame up a door in it. And that's what they're working on right now. Um, We're going to put it on the ground and then we're going to put it in there. Oh, okay. Greenhouse right now is a bit of a work in progress. We just finished up putting in brand new tables, put in a new irrigation system. Uh, so we're still doing some cleaning out in there. And uh, I wasn't able to order as many plants as I wanted right off the bat, especially doing renovations. Um, but everything in there should look shiny and new. So. Uh, uh, still a bit of a work in progress as I was saying, but we do have all brand new irrigation lines, uh, brand new rain bird system uh, for automatic irrigation. And these are all brand new tables. So as soon as we can get everything cleaned up, straightened out a little bit, we'll be able to do a little bit better with that. We did just plant a lot of herbs yesterday. Um, for the new culinary teacher, he's got some things going on that he wants to do some herbs for. Um, 
So like I said, kind of a work in progress in here. This is my pride and joy right here. <laughs> um, Spring Reality Works, calf simulator. Um, shows the students skills when it comes to calf care. Uh, so the simulator actually does everything from um, blood draws. So on a normal cow, what you do is you take blood from the jugular usually, right? Like on a bull or a heifer full size cow, you take blood from the jugular. Well, on the simulator, you on a calf, you take it from their tail. So you can actually feel down the tail. It feels like that come unhooked. Uh, but you can feel down the tail and about three vertebrae down, you actually feel the vein where you draw blood from on a calf or on a calf. Um, so the simulator is really cool too. The ears can be tagged. Uh, everything from tube feeding to actual like castration. Um, so skills that these students will use out on the farm. All right, so um, a little bit of animal science has covered everything from livestock evaluation to calf care, um, horse, uh, husbandry, uh, any kind of animal husbandry really, and a little bit of everything. So especially with all the cattle farms around here, we have a couple of equine centers around here, trying to get students used to being around animals and actually knowing how to care for them, things like that. Um, let's see what else. Animal science, ag med. Um, and like I was saying, I try to teach everything like a life skills type thing. It's skills that the students are going to need, I mean, not only for the workforce, but also like just simple things around home where they don't have to pay someone else to do. Uh, so I do small engine repair and maintenance. Uh, so adjusting carburetors, cleaning carburetors, uh, simple fixes like that, like changing out gaskets. Um, so anything that can actually help them save money that they can do on their own and take into the workforce with them, that's kind of how I teach this class. Um, so I, in spring, I teach a landscape design class. We go through all the different design processes, all the different design aspects. So the art aspects to landscape design, everything. And um, spring is really when I do horticulture heavy. So we'll have a big spring sale. That greenhouse, hopefully this year is gonna be completely full of everything, vegetables, flowers, everything especially with the new irrigation system. Um, everything can be automated watering. So we really get into in-depth things in the spring with plant science. We teach computer science and we are preparing our students to go out either into the world to work as possibly a computer support specialist or to go on to further education, um, maybe at York Tech with an associate's degree or to go on to get a bachelor's um, in computer science. Um, if they go to York Tech, become a web developer um, that makes about 40k a year and the growth in all the computer science um, industries is about eight percent so it is a, a career field that has a lot of needs to be filled. Gregory, I'm a registered nurse. I had my bachelor's degree from Florida A&M University and I've always had an interest in teaching and I teach health sciences one and two and we're a platform to set young people up with a foundation of knowledge of the healthcare industry and uh, my goal here is to eventually get our students to be certified nurse assistants so when they can graduate and leave school that they'll have some employable skills and this it's very important that they have a robust knowledge a good good foundation and in whether it's terminology or uh, demeanor professional etiquette or hands-on skills so that's what we do here and um, real proud of our history and we hope to keep our program strong and keep it going for many, many years to set our community up for robust health care for everybody. Um, we have offset and digital, so if we're doing some fast copy jobs, we can send them to our press. We have a black and white egg color. So if we're doing some fast copy ones, we can take it from the computer design search. And then we do have offset. Um, offset, they say, is dying, it's never going to die. So with offset, you can do, um, the whole principle of it is oil and water won't mix. So that when you can get the consistency, the chemistry of the two, you can run um, basic things, basic jobs. So I teach them the basics and then they can go farther on with that. Coming out of screen front, and this is 
is my child over here working. Hey, where's your um, test? It's on the way. Hey, so get back to your testing. You need to line that back up. See, look at your space in here and your space in there. Mm. So you need to take your um, measurement, you need to measure both sides and it should just square. See right here? I had to take it off. Oh, did you take it off? Uh huh, I took it off. I thought you already saw it. Oh, I did one of them. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. No. Print it again, let's double check it. Printing is for t-shirts. I've made them try burlap, I've made them try paper. Um, we tried a little bit of everything just to test out our different substrates and different skin screens. So we have tension screens and I also made them do the old-fashioned wood and staples so that way they had to get the balance and use it all. Um, so it's like so they graciously volunteered to give us the press for free, all the supplies and equipment for free. All I have to do is guarantee to take two students to compete every year. And with that, um, they're almost definitely um, promised a job. That industry is very, very supportive and they need the help. So this is our Mac Lab. Um, in our Mac Lab, we have Macintosh computers where we use software, design software such as like Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and design. Um, but the students learn how to take a design or an idea and make a finished product. So not only do they start with the creating, and they, I tell them all the time, they don't have to be artists. I'm looking for, do you have the idea in mind? Scan it, copy it, trace it, and then make a finished product. So from start to finish. 